what's the difference between mashed potatoes and pea soup? Well, anyone can mash potatoes. <laughs> That's pretty good. Thank you. Well, welcome to Shave and Butcher. Today we're shaving with <clears throat> a soap from Mystic Water called Sandalwood Rose. Brush is Matti Lindholm's homemade. Matti Lindholm is the YouTube channel name as well. This is, uh, he turns these himself. This is oak. Is it oak Matti? Plus he puts a 24 millimeter synthetic knot from Magart. So this is nice, good looking, very comfortable long handle and a, and a super good knot. Um, Razor is <clears throat> Wade and Butcher. Wade and Butcher, extra hollow ground, very nice. That uh, golden thing is, is getting a bit worn out. I use it too much. It's a pity, but I, you know, they're for using, aren't they? After shave is going to be Lucido from the Mandem Corporation in Japan, followed by the Polish aftershave balm. Cheap and cheap and easy. Okay, so this stuff. Wetting the face, wetting the brush. The soap, together with another one from Mystic or by Mystic Water, was sent to me by my my friend Stefan Yidlund, uh, the soap guru, who uh, was frustrated that I wouldn't use my Mystic Water ginger pear soap because I'm I'm not a, a big fan of the of the scent. He said, well, oh. so he gave me those these. These two, um, he's not crazy, they're not brand new, but there's a fair bit left. So, be trying this out for the first time. <clears throat> is it the f yeah, I think so, yeah. Memory is very good. Um, and uh, yeah, so I said, that's cool, thank you very much, Stefan. So, I'll, I'll piff, pay forward give away the one I have then, which is quite a bit of soap and uh, and I don't use it very much. So I, I I put it on as a giveaway in the Swedish Facebooking forum, the Wotrakni Sverige, and anyone can participate if you were if you were a member of the forum, as long as you you wrote in the comment that that my hockey team was the best. So name my hockey team is the best and you know, in spite of the fact that a lot of people, you know, there was a lot of uh, emojis throwing up. <laughs> but we still had 15 guys participating, so so the, the soap is going away. <clears throat> what the hell, right? I can do whatever I want to. It's, it's, my, um, it's my soap giving it away. So I'm not sure everybody that commented that my team is the best actually thought so, because some people, believe it or not, don't don't center their lives lives around ice hockey, <clears throat> and um, and some were just very eager to get a, a, a free soap, and it is a good soap. So we'll try and do it justice today. <clears throat> I'm a little bit all over the place today, I, I feel. But that's cool, so thank you, Stefan. Really, really appreciate that. It's, uh, like many people say, it's such a cool community, or communities, and it really is, you know. A lot of gifts, a lot of passing stuff around, a lot of swapping. The Swedish Forum is amazing. Fantastic, actually. Never a harsh word. It's just, you know. It's like the, the ultra, ultra, the ultras, the fan of my hockey team. They say, um, never hate, just love. Okay, so uh, 
display a bit, see what happens. This is a nice scent. I really like the scent. It's, a, it's sandalwood and rose somehow, and I'm very particular about sandalwood. I've used sandalwood quite a bit in the past, and I, I, I grew tired of them, like. Trifidon Hills, I used a lot. I can't use it anymore. I don't like the Prorasso sandalwood, but some sandalwoods are nice. But this isn't a pure sandalwood, it's sandalwood rose. It's like rose flowers and, and dirt at the same time. I'm not sure that's the intention, but it kind of feels like, I don't know, you, you give a lady roses and She's unhappy and throws them to the ground and you, it's, it's raining and you, you pick them up. Do the first pass here. You pick them up and they smell like rose and dirt at the same time. Yeah, good stuff, but it smells nice. Or like a funeral, you know, dirt and a decaying body and roses at the same time. Like a Tim Burton movie. Just waiting for Henela, Henela, Helena Bonham Carter to step in and just be crazy. What a guy with two scissors. I was, uh, was working in the garden this weekend. So my wife forced me. So I was picking up piles of weed and leaves and stuff she'd collected. And I had two rakes. So, so I pretended I was Johan rake man with hands so okay i didn't have to say that did i so yeah so my nose is a bit red when i shave upstairs everything is yellow because of the lights so it's like i have jaundice when i shave down here everything is red so it's like i you know i've been i'm nearsighted and i've been steamy vegetables or something but today and uh, they actually got a bit of sun. Some bread from the sun. This first time we, we've seen the sun in, in Sweden since October. Kind of. Yep. Pretty cool. I'm already concentrating at all. I have a hard time reading comments, not that I'm too nearsighted, but that uh, I don't get a notice of them, so I'm sure I miss quite a few. I have to go into, you know, what, what's called YouTube Studio, which is, you know, background thing, and I have to go to every single video and see if there's been comments. And there usually are a few. Which me, makes me think I'm missing several. So if I haven't responded, I apologize because I always do. It's not that badly. I love every time I get a comment. Such a sense of achievement. Sometimes the comments are like, well, your technique isn't very good, is it? Are you sure you want to show it on YouTube? <laughs> That's happened a few times. Yeah, fuck you too. And mostly it's, it's love, which is what we want. But I mean, YouTubers are, we, we like attention. That's why we do this monkey stuff in front of the camera. We all do. 
Yeah, I asked in the previous video, or if it was the one before, what sort of common features or, or uh, treat, traits or whatever that uh, wet shavers have, not YouTubers. In particular, YouTube <laughs> sounds like it's a job. I wish, but wet shavers have in common, and and again, I could have missed a few comments but the only one i saw comment was chris from imc db imc db famous youtube guy and uh, he said i should have checked for the video but from memory that he thinks a lot of wet shavers have or have a lot of attention to detail So we're particular about things and experiences and so forth. Um, many of us have another hobby. I don't really, but he said a lot of people do and he, he listed quite a few. And I noticed that a lot of them have to do with, uh, with uh, using your senses. Well, everything does basically at the end of the day, but you know, Senses such as smell and using your your sight, etc. Hand is really slow. It just is sometimes. Stropping is the worst. Stropping takes me twice as long as it used to. Very nice. Yeah, and then watching uh, Chris uh, today or yesterday, that was, I can't remember how I think I asked the question, but then uh, I stumbled on, on, onto something called Wet Shavers Round Table in four words. And there is a YouTube channel, no action for a lot of times, but you can search that. And a lot, if not all, the videos are on Douglas Smythe's channel. And it's just a couple of guys you know, pretty funny, talking about wet shaving and taking the piss a bit. Uh, and it was, it was, it was very good, very interesting. Plus, you know, serious interviews with artisans, etc. But basically, three, four guys going on Skype or Google Meet or whatever it was and just chatting. Uh, it was, it was funny. I haven't found anything like that that exists today. We should have that. I can imagine quite a few people that would be very good on that kind of forum. It's like taking the hobby seriously and not so seriously at the same time. Shut up. I'm not doing a very good job today. I think the result will be good, but I am a bit uncoordinated. A little bit. Yeah, I often get death in sense. You know, I don't know why. It's me, obviously. I, I'm sure it's not a common treat for soap makers to make soaps that <laughs> remind you of death. Uh, but I, you know, I, death to me has always been quite interesting. And 
it's not necessarily a negative thing. You, you should think about death. There's a cemetery close to where I work. And as you enter, there's a big, I don't know what you call that, a gate thing. And the inscription on the gate says, think about death. Think, poor them. As, <laughs> yep. You can do, and you can put a, you can do it in a very positive way, you know. Think about the fact that you're not dead. Think about death in terms of um, you know, loved ones that are alive and loved ones that aren't. Anyway, death is kind of interesting. I don't think about my own death much. I didn't prepare this, so I'm rambling, sorry. Why is he talking about death? He should be alive! Shouting from the rooftops. And I am. But about the death. There's a death metal band called Death. They're pretty good. See, I don't only listen to electronic music. I like my Mastodon and my Trivium and Metallica. Shut up. This is a good lather, by the way. I like it. I haven't used Mystic Water a lot, but I have used it. And I usually don't get... the very big lathers. And I, I'm, I'm not sure I'm doing anything wrong. I typically don't go for big lathers anyway. But some just become big. It's like, you know, a PAA or a Ariana and Evans. You can whip up a lather even if you don't have arms. That's how easy it is. But I don't mind understated ladders, just as I don't mind understated scents. It's like, what's this scent like? I don't know. Am I awake or am I dreaming? Maybe in a coma. Girlfriend in a coma, I'm just going to rinse. Mm, fantastic feeling on the face, fantastic. It's like, oh, only good stuff. I totally forgot to check what, what's in it. Oh. Lovely. That's one thing I always get with Mystic Water, even when it smells like ginger pears. G ginger and pear. Who? How do you come up with that? It's like garlic and banana. Here's my new garlic and banana soup. Maybe. Okay, just chucked my razor onto the floor. That's not very good. It's slick. <laughs> Shit. Okay, I'll deal with that when I clean my hands. 
it does not say on it what's in it so i haven't checked i don't know it's damn good anyway very slick you'll ruin your racer oh i never drop well, never drop my racers racer i've done it twice in three videos now haven't i hair okay we'll check that later shit 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 lucido yeah coma speaking of coma if you were you know if you imagine yourself having been in a coma maybe not the easiest thing to imagine <laughs> but imagine you you've been in a coma I'm gonna do my head too because I did a head shave before. Um, it's four, three months, or two months, or just one month, really. And you wake up and your 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 buddy standing there over you. Says, oh, you're awake, and, and you say, oh, "What happened?" And he says, "You've been in a coma." And you say, "Wow, anything happened?" And he says, "Well." Some guy ate a bat, and now I'm unemployed. Right? Polish aftershave bomb. They opened the markets again in China, in Wuhan, I think. So you can, you can buy live uh, living animals and eat them live, whatever the hell they do. So that's good. Sweden has some more deaths, but it's like, no. We can't gather more than 50 people now. Most of the countries is like two. But it's like, oh, 50. No, oh, it's got to be sensible. And senior high schools and universities are closed. And that's still the only thing. And it's like, please wash your hands. And don't travel if you don't have to. People, some people do anyway. But it's extremely, extremely relaxed. It's like you thought it would be in, in Holland, you know. Oh, we smoke, we smoke and we take it easy and life goes on. Wow, that was a bad Dutch accent. But this is from Eastern, Eastern Holland. Einschede. <sighs> No, I'm, I'm joking, I, I'm rambling. Anyway, it's still with us, that virus thingy, but fingers crossed, goes away. So that was a bit of a scattered brain shave with a straight razor on the floor, but uh, a really, really good soap. And I do like the scent. So thank you, Stefan, for, for sending that across. Really appreciate it. I've got a bay rum too of a slightly older date which I'll, I'll use probably on camera one of these days <sighs> thanks for watching stay sane and stay sharp <laughs>